Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Sea of Craft, the game that is based on building ocean and naval-based ships and mechanisms, and apparently sometimes land-based stuff too, as we're probably going to see in this challenge right here. So if you missed the first video, definitely go ahead and check that out, because we left off in the chapters uh, with this challenge right here, in which we have to find a way to push that stone ball off of that platform and down into this ring. And by the nature of the challenge, it seems like they kind of want you to use wheels for the first time and use this half pipe thing to kind of go up and around and hit the ball off. I mean, I could probably build a crane tall enough to reach it, but that is actually really, really high compared to the size of my boat. So I'm just going to actually delete this crane and I'm going to, for the first time, I'm going to see what wheels are like. Okay, so we're in our inventory. We have a medium unpowered wheel and a medium motor wheel, which is basically a powered wheel. And I have no idea how this stuff connects. It looks like I'm definitely going to have to make some adjustments to this thing because uh, I can't connect these anywhere useful right now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the flotation devices I have on the corners because that seems to be the most reasonable place to place some wheels. All right, and then I'll add these blocks sticking out. And can I place a wheel there? Yes, I can. We have the ability to set the controls and rotation force on these wheels. I'm just going to keep it at default for now, just so I can get a feel for what that is, and then I'll mess around with it later if I need to. All right, I got some wheels on this thing. Let's see if it works. I don't know if the wheels are actually programmed to rotate in the right direction or not. Oh, and of course, we bought them out. But by the looks of it, all the wheels are going in the right direction. Here, let's back up, see if I can maybe get some momentum going here. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. Yeah. Okay, nope. Nope, this is not going well. <laughs> Alright, so I think the obvious solution is just slap some wheels in the middle. That should hopefully get rid of our ground clearance issue. Let's see if this works, and uh, let's see how fast this thing can even go. Alright, there we go. This is feeling good so far. Oh, I just realized I don't have turning on. <laughs> These wheels are so slow. Look at how slow they are. Here we go. Look at this. All right. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make some adjustments. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put rotation force. Let's just put it up to maximum. It is it is that even how much of a difference does that make? All right. Here we go. This is maximum rotation force. Guys, is this? Am I doing this wrong? Okay. I figured out the problem. The problem is. This is clearly a boat with wheels. I need to build a car with propellers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this blueprint. There we go, nice and clean slate. And we're gonna build ourselves a lightweight car with propellers. And this one is actually gonna have hinges on it so we can have real steering, you know, like a car. There we go. And then we just give ourselves a couple of propellers just so we can get through the water. All right, let's see how this feels. Oh, 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 we're we're tilty. Oh boy. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, those are really, really sharp steering. Whoa, okay. The hinges do this weird reset thing. Like, watch, when I turn left, it's a nice smooth turn, and then when I let go, it just like snaps right back. I don't know if that's a glitch, but let's see if I'm actually fast enough now to do the to actually get up this thing. Okay. Okay, all right, this thing's a little bit uh, janky. This thing is really difficult to go smoothly. All right, come on. Look at that, and now what do I do? Oh, 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 no way, no, go, go. Wait, wait, I got this, I got this. I got this, I did it, I did it. <laughs> that was it, that was what we had to do. That was kind of epic. All right, first car, no problem at all. Now there's one more challenge left in this mode. So I don't, this is called Open Sesame and I don't think this car is gonna cut it. All right, chapter objective, pass through the gate. Sounds simple enough. So I think we have to press both of these buttons simultaneously in order to open the gate. But look at this hint, separate the ship into two independently maneuverable entities. Position the entities so they each hold down one button, make your exit. What? All right, let's just, let me just get in here. And uh, this is not designed for the, I can't even steer. I should have given myself some rudders or something. So what does it take? What does it take to push one of these buttons? Can I, oh, look at that. Oh, come on, get on there. All right, there's one. All right. Oh, no way. 
Do I have to hold them down and separately drive through the gate while they're still being pressed? But we have this part here called a splitter. When the bolt is removed, the splitter forcibly ejects any components attached. And I believe that this, whatever separate parts you have retain their controls. So you can essentially create remote controlled parts. All right, so we're gonna start from scratch on this one. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to build some really, really simplistic things. So we're gonna need our initial base build that we're gonna drive through the gate. And then we need to attach two button pushers that can deploy and push those buttons and be separately controllable, which that I feel like is gonna be a nightmare in of itself. All right, here we go. I think I got a pretty successful base uh, boat here. Very nimble, very buoyant. Uh, all I did was very similar to my first time doing a boat. I have this as a reaction wheel to turn. I got some propellers up here and some propellers back here. And then the corners are loaded with some buoyancy stuff. Even though I didn't really need them, I was already buoyant, but just to be extra stable. So now let us build. Oh, I forgot this is symmetry mode. Yeah, let's turn mirror mode on, especially for this part, since I'm going to be building an identical thing on either side. Uh, so we are going to use the splitter now. Why is that not mirroring? Is it because it's a mechanical part that it doesn't mirror? Here, let's, let me see real quick. Okay, yeah, the mechanical parts don't mirror. All right, so I'm gonna use this big wooden raft thing right here, and it's just kind of like one piece. I think that's all I'm really gonna need for this thing. And I'm also gonna give these things the ability to turn similar to what I did here with the reaction wheel. So we just do, does this have a center point? Oh, that doesn't have a center point. That's inconvenient. Maybe wooden raft seven does. Yeah, this looks like it's a odd number. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now that it's turning, I also need to give it propulsion. So these things, I'm just gonna give them a single propeller because I do not want these things to be going fast at all. These are gonna be fi more fine tuned movements. All right, and then on the top, I'm gonna have an active hinge. And this is what I'm going to use to lower something to press the buttons. All right, let's see how this is feeling right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this. I feel like we're dancing. Is that the max degrees that these things can turn? Oh, I didn't know that. This is like 45 degrees. All right, that's fine. All I got to do is just uh, add two of them on top of each other, and that should make 90 degrees. All right, this is looking nice. Look at that. I actually like this. I like how this is looking a lot. All right, and then I'll just put that on the top, make it look like a hammer. So then I just put independent controls on these two. I think that should be able to reach the buttons. I'm hoping. Uh, let's test out the detaching. Whoa, it just shoots them off to the side. Okay, can we be less violent, please? <laughs> what was that? All right, let's try this here. I'm going to set this to the inside. I'm going to set that to the inside and now shoot them off. Uh, we're gonna need some more stability on these things. Oh, here we go. Separation force. Oh, that makes my job easy. Let's just put the separation force down to zero. So now... Eh. Okay, they're still top heavy. That's the problem. The problem is that they're top heavy, of course. Okay, so the obvious solution is wedges. There we go, wedges. So now we add buoyancy to the end of these wedges. All right, now... Now we should be good, right? Separate. All right, they're staying afloat. This is a good sign. Um, I gotta, I forgot to make their controls separate. We need to give them separate controls for things. So I've learned if you don't want your creations to be floppy, you just make sure everything is stitched together. Okay, so now let's see if this actually works. We've separated them. So now I should be able to move this thing. Oh, this is where my camera is gonna be based off of this, is this craft right here. But I should be able to use TGFH to control Oh boy, I really need to make that more powerful. The rotation wheel is not nearly powerful enough, but I can move these forward and backwards. And then if I want to do this, I could do that with a Q and E. And then this one is one and three. All right, how's this feel for rotation? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, I think this is it. I'm just gonna move forward using my middle one as a control while I'm still attached to everything. I feel like this is gonna be super easy. With what I built here, at least. Okay, you ready? Gonna line myself up here. Oh, too bad I don't have a strafing. I should have put strafing on these things. That would have made it so much easier. Now I gotta, I gotta back up. Actually, it'll be easier to get in position if I back up. Okay, release. I'm gonna do the right one first. Oh no. Oh, I'm caught. Oh, there we go. This is fine. Everything is fine. I got this. 
Oh man, it's gonna be hard to keep it in place. I really need strafing, don't I? Why did I have the hammer go sideways? I should have just had it like be right in front, so I just walk right up to it. All right, is that good enough? Uh, three. Dang it! <laughs> Back to the drawing board. This is way harder than it needs to be right now. All right, my solution to this is to make this be forward. And yeah, that's it. When I separate them, in order to go forward on the right one, I just press that. Yeah, so now this is forward and backwards and turning. So it's actually like a wide vehicle instead of a long vehicle. But I think that's gonna make the most sense. All right, now let's do this. I just realized my craft spells out XHX. I don't know what that means. Kind of a cool design, I like it. All right, the waves definitely do not make this any easier. All right, so we stop there. And now, ready, watch this, both at the same... Oh, oh, I have one going backwards, my bad. All right, there we go. This is hard to see. All right, I'm just gonna do that left one first, and Q. All right, that's good, please stay still. And three, nope, gotta turn this one. There we go, and three, there we go. And now I can go on through. Look at that, it worked. It totally worked. That's cool. I like that I like that feature of this game a lot. Being able to have an automatic remote control ability is really, really nice. Hey, look at that. I'm number one on the leaderboard. 53 seconds. I don't know who Prasco is, but the other only the only other person who's on a leaderboard for some reason. All right, this is just a test branch of the game. This isn't actually the official game. All right, so I've transitioned my boat over into creative mode because I want to do some crazy tests with this thing when it comes to uh, damage, doing damage to stuff. Because in creative mode, I think I can press F2 and spawn a ship. Oh, it spawned on top of me. Okay, so here, I wanna see. I'm going to go ahead and de detach these things and I'm gonna take this thing over really quick. And is my is my hammer even gonna do any damage? How do I use this hammer? Oh, that's the wrong one. All right, uh, this one. Oh, there, eh, 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 eh. Okay, this is not a very good hammer. I'm realizing it doesn't quite reach them. All right, but that's fine because we actually have melee stuff. <gasps> Ball and chain? What if I put that right on top? Oh, yes, this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's see how that actually feels. Oh, that could do damage. I like that. What else do we have for melee weapons? Let's use them all. Circular saws? Are they just on? Oh my goodness. That looks so cool. I gotta try this right now. Detach. Oh, I'm a little bit uh, heavy in the front there. All right, come on. Just get over to it. Oh, that's so cool. The debris is blocking me from doing more damage. Oh man, that is actually amazing. I love that right there. Here, let me move in closer so I can get my camera up here. We're doing remote controlled deployable battleships right now. Are you kidding me? This is so awesome. All right, hold on. What about the uh, the ball and chain part? Oh boy, this thing is heavy now. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Whatever I do, that I just. Uh, well, there goes conservation of momentum. Um, here, let's take the saw blades off. I want to try it with just the ball and chain. Ready? <laughs> it's actually kind of working. Look at that. Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> this is so funny. The idea of melee naval battles is kind of amazing. All right, we have spearhead uh, or sword. Oh, okay. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I feel like I could take off like a helicopter with these things. All right, that's probably going to make this really, really heavy. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Oh, yep. Yep, that's uh, it's a little heavy. What if I just attach swords like this? Is that crazy or what? So let's see what stabbing a ship feels like. Huh? Whoa! These are actually really effective. This is amazing. I love the idea of melee ship combat, but I'm curious, like, what if it's weapon against weapon, you know? Like if I had a, sh can I damage my own ships actually? This is a good question. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, okay, you can't damage your own ships. That's good in a way, but bad for practice purposes. Cause if he had metal, if he surrounded his ship with metal weapons, would can you destroy melee weapons with melee weapons? I'm not sure how that would work. 
but this is kind of crazy how powerful and effective they are. Oh man, look at these spears. Those are kind of cool how they attach as well. All right, spear time. All right, full on spear action again. Unless the spears are just better. I don't know. I, I think they're I think they're comparable to the swords. I really don't know if they're actually check the settings. See if there's any settings that give like, oh, a damage rating or something. What are these things? Now, passive part doesn't really give you any information or unless what about here? Oh, they do have HP. So what's the HP of this compared to one of these? So HP 1200 and then this is HP 400. One of these is 150, 200, 300. Okay. 5,400 for this metal thing. There's a shield somewhere too. Here we go, iron shield. 900, not that great. What about like a propeller? 75? Oh, these things can be taken off so easy. Man, I kind of really want to do some multiplayer battles now. This feels like it would be so much fun to do melee battles at sea. For some reason, I got another stupid idea that I just have to try. Yeah, I'm connecting uh, pulleys to these things now. Because another cool thing about this game is uh, ropes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it totally works. Oh, look at that. There's so much potential for awesome ocean-based stuff. This is so cool. I mean, even not ocean based stuff, but you could apply this in any other number of ways. Oh, that's so let me uh, bring it back. Oh my goodness. I thought they were both on the same controls, but I guess not. This is so awesome. All right, well, I'm done for now. If you want to check out the previous episode, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Otherwise, check out some other awesome stuff on the channel. You might find something on the end screen right here that you haven't seen before. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.